Hi, I'm Sean, and today I'll be teaching you about the different types of transformations. There are four main types of transformations. Translations, deflections, rotations, and dilations. First, translations. A translation is when you slide a figure to another position without turning it. This means that the original figure and its image have to be congruent. If we have this picture of Bill Cosby with these coordinates, we can use a translation to slide it across the plane. Now, we have the original figure and its image, which has these coordinates. The rule you use to get the coordinates of a translated figure is x plus a, with a being the horizontal units, comma y plus b, b being vertical units. Next, reflections. A reflection is when you flip a figure over a line, the line of reflection, and create a mirror image of the original figure. If we have a trapezoid with these coordinates and reflect it over the y-axis, we get a mirrored trapezoid with these coordinates. To get the coordinates of a reflected figure, make only the x-coordinate negative if you reflect it over the y-axis, or make only the y-coordinate negative if you reflect it over the x-axis. Now onto rotations. A rotation is when you turn a figure around a fixed point, called the center of rotation. The image is the original figure turned, but it remains congruent because the shape and size aren't being altered. If we have this picture of Nigel Thornberry with these coordinates, and we want its center of rotation to be point N, and we want to rotate it 90 degrees, when we do so, we get a turn picture of Nigel Thornberry with these coordinates. Last but not least, dilations. A dilation is when you enlarge or reduce a figure by a scale factor. The image is not distorted during dilation, so it remains the same shape, but not the same size. So it is similar, but not congruent to the original figure. If we have this picture of Bob Saget with these coordinates, and we want a scale factor of 1 half, resulting in a smaller image because the scale factor is less than 1, we get a small picture of Bob Saget with these coordinates. If k represents the scale factor, to get the coordinates of the dilated figure, you multiply both the x and y coordinates by k. If you want the image to be enlarged, the scale factor has to be more than 1. If you want the image to be reduced, the scale factor has to be more than 0, but less than 1. That's it for this video. I hope you learn more about transformations, and goodbye. <laughs>